Hello, I'm Jeremy Hickerson, and in this video, I'm going to break down Jonathan, the first part of Jonathan Stout's chord solo on Paper Moon. Jonathan Stout is a swing band guitarist and uh, he has a YouTube channel under the name Campus Five. I think that's the name of one of his bands that he plays in. He also has quite a collection of old 30s Gibson arch tops. And the other thing about this video I'm, I'm showing today is that I'm playing a not an old arch top but a new one, an Epiphone reissue that cost me about 600 bucks that uh, I got used from Guitar Center. So if you don't think you'll be able to afford a 30s Gibson anytime soon, you might want to check out these uh, Epiphone reissues. I don't think it's quite the same as, as that 30 sound, but it's not too far off. So see what you think. Anyway, if, if you like this video, uh, please click like and uh, subscribe if you wish. And also I'll put a link to Jonathan's video in the description down below. And the other thing I should say is uh, Jonathan has really emulated the style of Alan Roos in his chord solo. Roos was a, a guitarist back in, I guess, the 30s. And so um, that's, you know, I guess I, I'm, I'm showing you what Jonathan's doing and he's showing us what Alan Roos is doing. So we're both one step removed. But anyway, see what you think and I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. All right, let's go through this and analyze what chord patterns Jonathan's using here. This is, first one is pretty simple. It's just a B flat 6 9. Just a regular old jazz chord to the uh, diminished, moving up to the B diminished, C minor. And then he goes down to an interesting form of the F chord. He's working on this. A little bit of a stretch, but it's a nice one to grab. So, and then back to here, the C minor to the F. Just to bounce, you know, the, uh, the five to the one. Now that the F is the one. And then B flat, you know, just your, to the F to a B flat, which would be like that. And then back to the B flat six nine. B diminished, move up the melody go note to the C minor there. Overdue. And here's an interesting one. It's the C minor with the flat five. This would be the straight C minor. Starting on the third, there's the root. So there's the third, fifth, flat the fifth. Nice little sound, you know. Can't grab it too quickly. I love that. And then he just goes single notes here. Bounce to the uh, the F five of the B flat. Bounce to the F seven. 
So that's pretty straightforward. Just repeats that. And then he, when he comes back to the ending of the second time through, don't get the rhythm right. And now he starts the bridge or the B section. Ba, ba, ba. And then here you've got like a C minor. There's your root. Up here. So what is this? I think that's sort of a, well, maybe it's the flat. Let's see, we got E flat, A. It's the sharp nine, C sharp. That's what it is. So here we are. And then we go to, that doesn't seem right though for the red. That's just the melody note, it has to move up. So. I think that's the F, yes it is. It's like the F with the sharp five. So here we've got the seventh and the bass, ninth, Sharp five. There you go. So that's kind of interesting there. Ba -ba -na. B flat. Da -da -da. Sort of an F form there. Slide up to the B flat. That's just an F there. Just a two note chord. Repeat. Now this is interesting. It goes to the six three two five. So the six, the B flat is D. Here's the D minor. to the G7, C minor to the F, and then you're back, you just repeat the, the first part. And those are all pretty straightforward um, jazz chords. You've got this pattern, you got the diminished, you got the C minor, the minor seventh, you know. You've got the, this sort of a thing. It's, all of those things are really straightforward, basically even blues chords, kind of interesting. As, as, uh, Stout talks about Alan Roos's soloing. He mentions that he uses a lot of real straightforward chord triads, and that's really true. I thought that was kind of encouraging, and I really encourage you to take a look at uh, Stout's video on Alan Roos chord solos. I'll put the link down in, in the description. And uh, just look at some of the examples he's got there, how you can take those uh, simple little triads or even um, broken triads like this one for an F where you muffle that note. I saw I saw Stout do that maybe on the E flat chord, but it's the same idea. You can you can get chord solos going with real simple stuff and it sounds like a million bucks. And he, he ends up of course sliding doing that kind of thing. And then it makes it sound even better and it's still really quite simple.